Hey everyone, Val here. And I'm coming to you with my weekly weigh-in and fitness report. I am bundled up because our heating unit in the house still has not been repaired. Uh, they're waiting on a part, which hopefully should be in by tomorrow because they told me three to five days and it's been <clears throat> five days as of yesterday, but it's a weekend, so they probably don't work on the weekends. Hopefully they will have the part tomorrow, which will be Monday. They'll be able to come here, get our heating unit fixed. Last night it got down to 25 degrees outside. Inside the house it was about 62. We do have a couple of space heaters that we plug in, electric space heaters. They're not big enough to heat the very much of the house at all. So we've closed off the bedroom, closed off the laundry room, we've closed off my office and the back porch and we're trying to contain some of the heat in here because the next couple of days are going to be really, really cold. <clears throat> Steve's gone down to uh, another town because we don't have any stores here and he's going to try to get another couple of space heaters so we have another one for the bedroom and we'll have one for the porch and we can put another one in here just to get the temperature of the house back up to 70 at least so when it goes back down to 25 tonight it's not going to be as cold in here because it's I'm you know sleeping in this chair with a sweatshirt on and big heavy fuzzy socks got my big warm comforter over me and and I do stay warm I have this blanket and I kind of wrap it around me but uh, I am staying warm at night time uh, but uh, right now it's it's kind of cold in here just waiting for the maybe hopefully the sun to come out and shine into some of the windows to give us some more warmth so if I'm sniffling or <clears throat> sound a little in my throat it's because I'm my body's cold so today's reading before we go into the weekly weigh-in is from the book happy habits that's the book i've been reading from and today's reading is going to be from the mental happy habits mental happy habits so i have not read this ahead of time so let me see what it's talking about here it says <clears throat> Just because a habit is good for you doesn't make it easy to do. Reframe challenging habits so you're positive, easier, and fun. So that they're positive, easier, and fun. So try this, these four reframing tools. So we're going to reframe our habits. It's calling reframe the negative. As if, in quotation marks, reframe. Get motivated to adopt a challenging habit by managing the result as if you're already achieved them so we're going to if you have a challenging habit pretend that you've already achieved the habit and talk to yourself as if you've already achieved it to make it more achievable I guess that's what they're trying to say it says number two revise time reframe convince yourself of an urgency by setting a deadline to complete a task or a short time limit to make challenges feel manageable and I think this is just not setting long-range goals to set more smaller achievable goals I think that's what they're talking about here completing a task or a short time limit to make challenges feel manageable so you don't want to make something so feel so unmanageable that you're not going to achieve it all right number three new perspective reframe imagine someone awesome convincing you to do the habit seeing it from another perspective may help you find ways to accomplish your goals so imagine that somebody else is doing it maybe it's somebody on youtube that you watch that's doing fitness goals and they're achieving them and you like they're telling you and a lot of times I know that everybody's talking back and forth and getting ideas from other channels and uh, there's people who motivate you so use that motivation to help you to achieve the goals maybe do a challenge with somebody else 
Uh, I know that my daughter and I have done challenges together to see, you know, like this week, let's see who can eat the healthiest and, and lose, you know, a pound or whatever our goal might be. If you have a challenge goal with somebody else, it might make it more achievable. So maybe reframe your ways of eating. If you're just challenging yourself, it may not be achievable, but if you have a challenge with somebody else, it may be more achievable. All right, and number four, humor reframe. Give the habit of funny, give the habit a funny name. If you can smile about it, how hard can it be? So whatever the habit is, if your habit is eating chocolate, maybe you give the chocolate a funny name to say, okay, I'm gonna go get my whatever, and, and it has a funny name, whatever your bad habit is. And, um, I don't know. That's what the book says. <laughs> I don't know how, how achievable that'll be, but um, it could help. It could work. So those are the four tips. Uh, do you think any of them are going to work for you? Just let me know. Uh, then it says, reframing the negative. Next time you catch yourself putting off a good for you habit that you dread, try applying some of these reframing techniques instead. So that's our tips for today. Let me know what you think about those and uh, see how they work. Maybe we could try some of those this week and see, see how they work. Actually, my sister's here from New York, my youngest sister, Teresa. She's visiting from New York this week, so she's helping me out a little bit. I have returned back to work um, full-time from home. I can't go out still. I'm not driving or anything yet. So I'm going to stay home, work. She's helping out with some of the housework, the cooking and stuff, because we've pretty much gone through all the stuff I had prepped ahead of time. And I haven't seen her since the summer, so I'm so happy that she could come and spend a week or so with me. Uh, sad that there's no heat in the house, and she has to deal with that along with us, but she doesn't seem to mind. But I am very happy she's here to spend some time with me. So, weigh-in was yesterday. I weigh in on Saturdays. Uh, as you know, last year I started the year at 211.8. At the end of the year this year, I was at 183.8, which was a loss for the year of 28 pounds. I reported that last week's weigh-in, and I am very happy with that. I was shooting for 30 pounds by the end of the year. Holidays kind of did me in with the candies and the cookies and the everything else. I didn't, I had a gain over my surgery time, but I didn't have any outrageous gains. I didn't gain five or 10 pounds over the holidays. Thank goodness. I just had like a little one point, one gain, you know, one pound gain one week, one pound gain the next week, then had to work to take that off. Ending up the year at 183.8. Yesterday's weigh-in, I was at 182.2, which was a loss for the week of 1.6. Yay, which brings me to a total loss of 29.6 pounds since I've started to really get serious and try to get some of this weight off me. So I'm 0.4 pounds from... Is that right? 0.4 pounds from my 30 pound goal that I was trying to hit last year. I'm at 29.6. I'm going to keep going. Once I, I, I'm not at the 180 yet. I'm at 182.2. So I got 2.2 to go to hit my 180 goal, which I am hoping I'm going to put my challenge out there and give myself a whole lot of time and say by the end of January, I would like to be 180 or below because my ultimate goal right now is 170 and I'm hoping to get to 170 before my trip to India well we're going to the wedding over in India of my niece and that we leave the middle of March so my goal is 170 that's pretty aggressive of a goal for me to lose that would be another 12 pounds 12.2 pounds before the middle of March I don't I'm I hate to jinx myself I don't think that's achievable for me at my age uh, and knowing well I did lose 30 pounds last year just about 30 pounds so I'm not gonna say it's not achievable 
it can be achievable. If I pay attention to what I'm eating, I'm doing my fitness pal. I'm still counting my calories on my fitness pal. So I am watching it. I'm watching the fat. I'm watching the carbs. I am watching those. I'm not saying I'm not eating those. I am eating carbs. I am eating fat. But I'm watching the portion sizes. So I'm trying to be careful. The sugar, I'm watching my sugar content so that I'm not taking in a whole lot of sugar. And my fitness pal tells me too if, you know, this, these are your sugar goals and you're at this right now. So be careful. You're almost at your sugar goal for the day. That is very helpful for me to say, okay, I can't have a cookie or I can't have a whatever because it has too much sugar in it. I am being careful. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to try to be aware. Try to take off another, I would love to take off another pound by the way in next week. If I can just take off, because I need 1.8 pounds I think to be at 180. I'm not going to put myself at that much pressure. I would be, I'd be good with a half a pound to a pound. I'm going to say if I can lose a half a pound to a pound this coming week, it's going to put me well on my way to getting to in the 170s and getting to 170 by the middle of March. That's my goal. What I do from the point I get there, if I if I put another 10 pound goal on myself, we'll see. I'm not going to look that far ahead. I'm going to take this small pieces at a time. That's how I've been doing it all year. It's working for me. I'm very happy with it. So that is what it is. So how did you do this week? Let me know how you did. Let me know if there's anything new you're going to be doing for the new year to help yourself out. Uh, my sister is in the kitchen cooking a turkey breast because uh, we have one of the, the children are coming over for lunch uh, that we didn't get to see over Christmas time. So I need to probably go and help her. <laughs> and um, I guess that's it for today. We're, we're going to have, uh, hopefully Steve can get the heaters because he did go out to the store to get a couple more space heaters to warm this house up a little bit because it's going to be cold again tonight and we are we don't want to freeze and we don't want my sister to freeze so hopefully they'll have the uh, part tomorrow all right i'm not going to hold you up this video has gone long enough thank you all for watching give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to and uh, let me know how you did for the week how is your weight loss going it's a new year let's give it a brand new start thank you all for watching Bye now.